Hello and welcome to The Daily Shave. My name is John, and today I'll be shaving with Fine Shaving Cream's Platinum. So Platinum is a scent that is very well known to both folks in wet shaving as well as to fragrance. So this scent is inspired by Creed Aventus. So this came out at a time where um, it, it might have been one of the earlier one, uh, artisans to have covered the scent. Uh, the shaving cream itself, uh, this is my first go with this product. Um, I've used Fine's you know, aftershaves, I've used Fine's uh, soap pucks, but this is my first, uh, first go with the cream. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, the other parts of the shave, got my carved Christopher Bradley with the C plate. One of my regulars, it's very, very reliable and familiar with me. Oh, and then this is loaded with a Gillette Silver Blue on the third shave. And for my brush, we're going with my West Coast Shaving, Honeycomb, and green with a synthetic tuxedo knot. All right, lastly, we'll finish the shave with the aftershave here. This is in the older bottle, uh, the flask type bottle, in case it looks different from the one that you have at home. It's probably on its very last legs. This might be the shave to finish it off. I don't use that much after shave though. Maybe two, maybe two or three more shaves. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this right, the cream, right into the brush here, and we'll build a face lather. Might as well show you. Let's go with, yeah, that should be good. So one advantage of shaving creams over soaps is the time it takes to build a lather, uh, given that there's more water in this product. The, um, <laughs> the thing is should be, you don't need to lather it nearly as long before you can get right to the shave. That may or may not be the case with today's shave as I do wanna make sure uh, I get proper hydration in here. As I'm lather lathering this, I am reminded how well of um, how well a version of Creed Aventus uh, does does Fine Platinum make. A lot of folks are wondering, especially with these uh, scent dupes, you know, how close is it to their original? And I would say that this does a very very good job, a very fine job, if you will, uh, in in duping Creed Aventus. Uh, Aventus, it is on the fruitier side with those, again, who are in the know. Uh, there are batch variations in the original fragrance itself. So it's not surprising that uh, one artisan may go for a fruitier version, such as this one, uh, versus there's a woody and a smoky note also um, associated with Aventus. So that's not so much here. Fr the fruitiness is provided provided by a distinct pineapple note. So you really didn't get uh, too many scents with pineapple back in, you know, back before this. I feel like it shows up much more often now. And the other listed note is smoky oak moss, which to my nose is, um, it's just a note that's kind of woody and grounds it. It's not, I don't get too much smoke out of this. It is very nice though, I will say. I mean, there's a reason that my aftershave bottle is nearly, nearly empty. Yeah, another advantage, um, since we're talking about shaving creams versus soaps is that the cream is much more easy to travel with. 
uh, and I'm sure if you're like me, you want to minimize the things you need to bring when traveling. So, you know, I'm not one to travel with a shave bowl or anything easily breakable. So this being in the tube, uh, such as toothpaste, you don't have to worry about the case cracking or, you know, soap getting all over, all over the place. So you can see here, I'm working with two days of beard growth. So let's give it a go. Now that we're into uh, January of the year 2020, I don't know if you guys are into resolutions, but while I don't make resolutions for like normal everyday life, I do like making wet shaving resolutions. My resolution for 2019 was to be much more intentional about trying new razors. And I'm glad to say I was able to really uh, to do that, both um, in picking up and trying different razors, but also borrowing razors from friends. Um, actually, I had some very generous friends pass things, you know, both, um, both on the expensive, expensive and in the inexpensive side. So that was cool. I'm glad to say that was successful. For 2020, my resolution, in case you're wondering, is to try out more shaving creams. My main shaving cream that I've used in my period of, of wet shaving uh, is Paraso Green, or, or more specifically, Co Bigelow, um, which is a repackaged uh, Paraso Green for Bath and Body Works. And that was on my main cream and the main, you know, no soap in the picture. That was my main cream, my mainstay for every day for about two years straight. So I think it'd be kind of fun revisiting creams. Um, now that I'm more aware of kind of what's out there, what you know, what's popular uh, with other folks. I've done plenty of testing with soaps, and of course we'll continue to do so, but Gotta add a little variety in there, keep things interesting. So, so far so good on this first pass here. So far, my initial impressions as far as slickness is, it's about average slickness. Enough there to get um, minimal drag and definitely enough to get the job done. We'll see how it fares with the against the grain pass. The leather I'm getting out of this is not super, you know, it's not super voluminous. It's not super fluffy. We just want enough to protect. Yep. Protect your face and provide enough glide for the razor. We pin that on well enough. So now let's do against the grain.
And so going along with that New Year's resolution of trying more creams, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Uh, what's, your, what's your favorite shade of cream? And if not your favorite, if there's any particular ones that you'd like to see me use. I'm not experiencing any uh, razor skipping or anything like that. I'm happy to report. And let me just say, if you have not smelled uh, fine platinum and are, and are curious kind of what this You know, hullabaloo about creative entities is all about this is a great place to start to check check out that scent i should say it's a, an inexpensive way to get introduced to the scent in in general since um the, the entire line from fine are all inspired by um, other well-known fragrances or even within wet shaving. Um, that, is, that is, in my eyes, their biggest strength. I'm not one to say, oh, it's like 70% close, 80%, 90% close to the real thing. But as far as closeness, they are, they are one of the ones, one of the artisans that come um, super close to the original. So if you're really big into scents, if that part is one of, you know, one of the most important, the most important parts of your shave, um, and you've not explored anything from fine, you know, you definitely don't miss out. All right, let's get this rinsed off. So I think let's stick with the two path shave for today. I have found a lot of times that the th my kind of cleanup pass third or half my half pass there, um, oftentimes it doesn't make too much a difference. If anything, it does irritate my neck area uh, more than I like. So I think we'll chase just you know a nice clean shave. Not necessarily, not necessarily the fabled baby butt smooth shave. And then finish with a few shakes of the aftershave splash here. There's a nice, nice menthol kick in here for those who like that. It's actually pretty strong in my bottle. And just getting, you know, exact match of the scent in the aftershave as the as the cream as you'd expect. It's really, really pleasant. Alright. Ooh, that's quite cooling. So my shave is done. Uh, I think this is a great 
again, this would be a great travel option just given the, um, you know, the container that it won't shatter, won't break. It'll get the job done. Uh, you know, we're not chasing necessarily like the most, you know, top, top post shave here or anything like that, but it feels good. And again, scent is top notch in the fine products and platinum, I might say this might be their their best scent in their line. So if it sounds interesting to you, you can check it out. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, you know, let me know in the comments below uh, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.